So I wanted to talk briefly about contingent enactment language in California legislation uh, and give you some examples. Contingent enactment, of course, as the name would imply, means that the enactment of the bill is contingent upon something else. So the following are some examples from bills. This act shall become effective only if Senate Bill 4 of the 2021-22 regular session is enacted and takes effect on or before January 1, 2022. Another example of contingent enactment language, Section 2 of this act shall become operative only if SCA 1 of the 2021-22 regular session is approved by the voters. Another example is, this act shall become operative if the initiative measure titled eliminates certain liability for lead paint manufacturers, authorizes bonds to fund structural and environmental remediation projects by the Attorney General is enacted and becomes operative. Another example that uh, you see common, the operation of this section is contingent upon an appropriation in the Annual Budget Act or another statute for purposes of this section. Or another example, this section shall become operative on the effective date of a final judicial determination made by any court of appellate jurisdiction that any provision of the act that added this section or its application either in whole or in part is enjoined, found unconstitutional, or held invalid for any reason. And one other example of contingent enactment language, this section shall become operative on the effective date of any budget measure, specifically appropriating funds to the Franchise Tax Board for its cost of administering this section. So again, these are all examples found in bills or statutes that are contingent enactment language.